family, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I wanted to do something that I had had in my mind as an idea. You guys know I love my waves, but I wanted to do it this time with the white of the wave kind of crash, crashing over. And I wanted to do it to be a little bit more realistic, really. Um, it's still gonna be very abstract, but I just really wanna continue to just play around and push myself. So let's see what happens. Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I, you know that I love ocean waves, but I wanted to continue exploring them and see if I could press them a little bit differently. So kind of like a true barrel wave this time, I'm going to press this part but I'm going to come back with the white and blow it back up this way and see if I can get the true kind of look of a cresting wave. Most of the ones I do are abstract. It's just kind of the essence of a wave. You can curve them however you want, um, but I just wanted to kind of play around and see. So I thought maybe up here in this part, I could start with a little bit of the Sky blue. Ooh, I have a chunk right there. I don't know where it went. I'll get it when I blow it out. So I was going to start with the sky blue up here. Some of my darker colors and blow this way straight, then blow out this way, and then curve the last little bit up here, and then blow the white back over. I, I don't know if it's going to work. It's in my head. It looks, it looks good on paper. <laughs> So I'm going to, let me blow this part out first. All right, so now I'm gonna come in and layer these colors down here. And it's almost gonna be like that. And you don't really need, I always end up using too much paint on this part here because you're gonna blow it kind of off the canvas as you go, so you don't need that much. I have a ton of different blues here. This is gonna be awesome. I am just using paint and water. A lot of people have asked about this. I normally only use paint and water when I'm using Amsterdam paints, or I can mix a different brand paint in with the Amsterdam paint to create the effect. Um, that I want so because a lot of other paints just don't have good binders and your painting will crack or something will happen to it Okay. Oops. All right, I do want some aqua in here, but closer to where kind of the crest is So I'm just gonna put a little bit through here and then most of that will come through here So that was turquoise green. This is turquoise blue. I don't know if this is gonna work. Other people ask me about painting my sides. I paint that so that I have good coverage because I like the paint to drip down. Um, and then, like I had said in a previous video, you wanna make sure that you get this lip right here so that it's smooth and you so that you can um so that the paint will drip down evenly also someone asked and we troubleshoot you know did a troubleshoot to figure it out your fingers have oils on them 
I'm hot here in Florida. I wipe my face, my head. If you then put your fingers here after you have wiped sweat or if you had any oils or anything on your hands, the paint will resist on this canvas even though there's no oil that's in this painting. So it's just something to think about. Um, okay, so I want a little bit actually of my lighter blue right through here as well. And then some of that darker blue as well. And I may come back in with my real brush pens, I'm not sure yet, to add some kind of designs and stuff to this. I just don't know, because I don't really know how this is gonna turn out. <laughs> Gotta play and experiment, right? That's what abstract art is about, or art in general, really. Okay, so I do know that I want some more phthalo blue here. See what I'm going for. All right, let's start blowing this out. Okay, so when I blew, this is what I wanted. So I, the reason that I layered those, because you're probably thinking, well, that's not the crest in the center, right? Um, but the reason that I did it this way is because I wanted that shape of those colors to come down this way. But when I'm, what I'm gonna do now is start here and blow the white back over this way. I don't know if it's gonna work. And this white has a lot of air bubbles in it, which I don't care for, but because see it's already starting to pop up in here. But we'll see. So now I'm going to, I just torched the top to get rid of some. You don't want to scorch the paint. Okay, so here we go. Moment of truth. I'm going to going to drizzle a little bit back into here and I really want this this color right here up in here now let me blow this back out and see if it works So I'm just gonna fix this part right here. Oh, this one's really beautiful and really abstract. I like it. I like it, I like it. So now I'm just gonna come right back into here. I'm 
Oh man, this is beautiful. different because I think what I'm gonna do is after this dries come back in here and add some little like foam looking parts but it is very different I like it I like it a lot I'm trying to see if there's anything else maybe I just want a little bit more kind of wave action right here this works now I'm gonna try this again on a on a bigger scale and you guys can let me know So there's just this one squiggly part that's in here, but if I just take my finger and kind of run it like that, I don't wanna mess with it too much, but just to get that kind of feel, because I don't wanna lose the kind of blow dryer effect. Yes. like this. I'm finger painting. I think that just added like the perfect illusion. Of what's supposed to be happening in there. needs much else honestly I'm gonna let this dry make sure that it dries well and then I think I'm gonna just kind of like I could just kind of flick some little parts up into there You get some into here you can always just touch it with your finger but I kind of want it to be abstract and messy Okay, all right, I'll stop. I'll stop. I get super excited over my artwork still. If that doesn't happen to you, I'm sorry. It's perfect to me. Okay, so. Um, let me give this a good torch to remove any um, additional because I see all these little air bubbles. Those will end up being pinholes. So, I used a little too much paint on this side and on the front end, but really happy with this overall. Okay, let me show you. Here it is, and I love it. I, I played fiddled just a little bit with the section right up here. I torched it and some of those tiny little, almost looks like 
seafoam, really, uh, popped up. I love that I did this with my finger. I finger painted this <laughs> in this section because it really gives the crashing wave look, you know? So I'm gonna try to go slow. I love that little cluster that's up there. Just, I'm just really happy with it. This is great. If you guys try this, tag me in it. Let me know. Let me know what you think. All right, I'm gonna show you the dried result. I could honestly not be happier. I love it. The bottom looks like my, my ones that I normally do with the blow dryer technique. That was where I painted with my finger and I love that part. Now I had said that I was gonna go in and add some kind of splashes and definition at the bottom and that's what I ended up doing. And you can see, I still need to work on it a little bit. You can see a little bit of the, of the canvas over top there, but I'm gonna work on the splashes a little bit more, I think, and this piece will be ready to go. I love it. The definition up in the top, totally different way that I crashed this wave. I think it's awesome. I hope you guys do too. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting.